Okay, so this is Matt. One more time. This is the the day after the last video yet again. Um, so a lot of work. Uh, this is the Aaron in move in move robot that I'm doing. I call it Aaron. It's the name for this one. Um, and so what have I been doing? I <laughs> put the uh, I. Finish the jaw motor, and that works. And I put the uh, eyeball camera back in on the inside there. Uh, you can't really, you can't really tell. So there's a camera in this one. There's no camera in this one. This just has a piece of Velcro uh, in the back to make it look black. And this eye is actually uh, just glued onto the front now with acetone. And the cam, the Logitech camera in there is actually. If I can get under there, it's hard to see, but it's uh, it works, it fits, and the jaw motor can still function with it in there. What I did was I zip tied, I zip tied it um, to the front nose, the nose bridge piece back behind there, and that specific Logitech camera has a thing where you can pan tilt it to get it to the right angle in the front. Um, and then I, let's see, I also acetone together the, the nose here and these side pieces. Finally, these, these were really annoying cause I'd never, I hadn't, um, there's no screws for those. So I finally just glued them on, um, and pop the, the ear pieces in. And so, uh, let's see what else. Okay, so I went ahead and I labeled these. So now I got neck pin 18, jaw pin 23, and then I have these two USB things labeled. One of them is actually the connect now. Uh, it goes back, goes back through the back and up the back, and then the eyeball camera again. I I did the uh, the wiring over top, over top of the back uh, two motors, and then down through the spinal column. It was really annoying to um, have to put another cable down through the spinal column after I had <laughs> most of it together. I had to take most of it apart. Uh, the trick there, if you want to do that again, is to pop this this neck joint out. Well, I take off the, take off this piece and this piece and then unscrew the, the, uh, the large motor screws and then take off the back piece here. Um, and then take this pin out, uh, by taking this thing off again, whatever, you know, this little plastic piece, take that off, pull the pin out, and then you should be able to get your wires back down, pull them down easier. So that's what I had to do. Uh, I also went out and replaced the um, USB hub I was using with a different one because the previous one didn't work. <laughs> um, it had a lot more ports, but didn't work. Still using the vintage power supply. Uh, still got Pi, Raspberry Pi 2. Um, HDMI display, wireless mouse keyboard going to the Pi. Um, oh, so anyway, the, the eyeball camera is now plugged into the USB port, uh, the USB hub, which is plugged into the Pi. So I'm right now I'm actually running, uh, running mo the motion package. Oh, there you can see my face. Here, let me wave. So this is coming out of the eyeball of the robot right now. Right, let me back up. Let's see if I can get my face in there. There we go. Hello, I'm Matt. <laughs> um, and what's nice about this is you, uh, it's actually casting the video over to the laptop. Right, so now it's it's uh, going over wireless to this, and of course it's a really cruddy uh, 
resolution here, but whatever. I, I don't really care. So uh, now what's nice is I can move the move the head around and it moves the camera, right? So let me do a uh, neck to the right and oops <laughs> neck right dot bash you heard it move right oh and there's the image of the pie <laughs> there's his head so let me just show you one more time here uh, let's do a neck center Wait for the image. There it goes. Um, oh, let me show you, show you some other things. Uh, here is the talk. I went ahead and I did just a couple things to show the the jaw motor working a little better. I, I decreased the amount of sleep time in between jaw up and down movements because the motor was fast enough. So here's uh, my talk function. Yay. <laughs> oh, I also did a nod. Nod, no. So, that's kind of cute. Um, let's see, what, what else did I do? Uh... I don't remember what I did for test. What is test? I think that's just moving around the head. Oh, it moves to the side and then does a little talk thing a couple times. Ah. <laughs> um so so yeah it's working uh oh again this is all 3d printed uh you can do it yourself go to inmove.fr uh, and he has all the uh what's his name harry guile i'm probably saying his name wrong but he's got all of the open source uh parts you can download their 3ds files or Something else, Jika, I think they're 3DS. Um, and I, all this stuff has been, what you do is you make all these parts and screw them together using a 3D printer. So this, this is a LOLS Taz, LOLSBOT Taz 3, and this is an ABS plastic. And um, you, can, you can make it out of, there's a glow-in-the-dark plastic. I use that to... Uh, this, none of this is glow in the dark. It's just plain white. I use a glow in the dark to do the uh, the centerpiece of this quadricopter here that I've been working on. This is a, a spider, Spida 5000 or 500 or something. And I got that controlled from an Android app right now, going through an IO, IO, IO Mint, uh, which is an Arduino here. And then I got all these uh, four ESC, uh, ESCs there. And DJI, DJI propeller blades. Anyway, uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to say is, um, so this is the Aaron robot, right? I started out in, <laughs> I don't remember, a long time ago. And I was like, hey, Dad, I want to make a robot. I want to make a robot. So we made this. <laughs> This is, this is what my dad helped me make first. And this is like wooden flyboard stuff. It's really thin. And uh, let's see. He had me drill the holes for the mouth. <laughs> and he made a LED uh, blinking circuit. And he shoved it in here. 
This is hilarious. He shoved it in here. There's his little circuit, little circuit board he made like 15 years ago. <laughs> and a battery pack. And a switch on the back. Oh, two, two battery packs. And then this switch turned it on. And I cracked it here. Uh, and what we did with this was we actually had a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a walkie-talkie up in the front. Um, and so this used to fit uh, my my model uh, RC car I had. So I had the walkie-talkie up front, and I had another one that I'd talk through. And then on the bottom, it had a he made a mount that was compatible with um, this remote control car I had. So what I do is I drive, drive the car around, and then uh, talk through the walkie-talkie to people with blinky eyes. It was awesome. This this one was called Ed for uh, Electronic Dude. I think I think that's that's what it was. And then like uh, I don't know, like five years ago, I did this one, or maybe it was. Th Three years ago, I don't remember. This is this is when, right when the Pi came out. Um, this was my cat. This was my cat bot. I did a bunch of other ones in between these two, but this is this was the last one. Um, so I had a Pi attached in here. This is all destroyed by now, but uh, had a Pi in this Tupperware container and a breadboard and two. Uh, to uh, relay controls to make uh, to drive it go forwards and backwards, and I had I had the camera I'm using now and that mounted on this thing, and then it was all powered by a, a um, cell phone battery, and it would control that and then use two uh, nine volt uh, DC batteries to drive. These Lego motors on the bottom. And I had it hooked up wirelessly. I could log in and drive around and play with my cat when I was not at home. That was fun. So, but now we're on this. And um need to give it some some crazy spider legs and, and a laser coming out of this eye. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know. So next, uh, let's see. Next step is what? Next step. So I got the webcam working. Um, I, I think I'm going to do, oh, I got to do the chest motor. So I, I do have the chest motor in this box. This is not going to be a tomorrow video because I, I think I'm going to stop for quite a while so probably because I have other projects I'm doing that are more important <laughs> but this I have another uh, servo motor in here to go in the chest and so I'll, I'll do that next and then I'll do the arms and then I need I need to do some giant spider legs or something because it's, it's got to go up steps I, I really don't like it when robots cannot go up steps. So that is the progress for today. And let's see here. Okay, in move, say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, bye, guys.